possibility when the panel is arriving to have uh, a portion of the panel being uh, sprayed with one gun, not a portion actually, totally that panel being sprayed by one gun, and then it gives the time for the for the uh, lacquer to distend, uh, to evenly you know, cover the surface, and then the second gun is going to start doing the other, the other part. So it, it is a, a way of uh, uh, spraying that is absolutely uh, gives us a very high quality. This is a machine that is uh, uh, working with a paper belt, so it means that uh, it's a suitable machine for those customers that are frequently changing uh, products or colors. They don't want to reclaim the lacquer that they are, uh, they are um, uh, utilizing. So it's a flexible, fairly productive machine. Uh, this is a machine that normally we can have it at four, three to four meters a minute of speed. Is normally integrated either on a hot chamber where I'm drying the pieces or it can be integrated on a line if I want to complete the automated process. So again, matter of uh, labor, how much I want to invest on automation compared to, to labor to handle the pieces when they have to be picked and put on shelves to be dried in, the, in a hot chamber. It's a machine that we have introduced in the United States uh, last year at the Las Vegas show. Uh, Let's say a, re, 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 um, a product re, uh, redesign and improvement. We have uh, been very successful, uh, also because it is a machine that fits perfectly into the United States market as a you know middle uh, business uh, kind of uh, machine for those customers that are not small, not big, but they need a kind of automation on the finishing side. It can also be equipped with a uh, CFB belt for those customers that are instead of uh, changing frequently the colors or products that want to reclaim. So it's got a complete reclaiming system, so uh, avoiding again uh, to waste uh, a lot of lacquer during the, the, the spraying process. As you know, when I'm spraying, I'm creating a big cloud of overspray. And the entire purpose is trying to get that, that, that cloud onto the piece because that's where I want to have my, my paint to go. One important characteristic of this machine is the plenum that we have, this bulb. We have, we have studied this with our uh, with a university in Italy to see the airflow because we want the airflow to go from the filters onto the central part of the machine and onto the piece so that we have got a better transfer efficiency because that's where customers are counting their money that they're spending on lacquer and how much is going to be on their piece. Moving forward, here we have a complete uh, working line which is uh, uh, utilizing again a spray machine which is uh, a uh, step uh, uh, above uh, the level of the Mito 2P and it's the easy. Again, with two arms, uh, a machine that is more productive because it can go faster, spraying faster, so more volume of production, more linear meters of production. It's a machine that comes with the uh, CFP belt, so it's a machine that uh, always is going to reclaim what I am uh, over spraying out of my piece. Uh, and it's a machine that also has been a, a very good seller in the United States because for those customers that are, you know, uh, uh, let's say starting to have uh, necessities of, of volume that are important. This is a functioning line, so we're doing real demos over here, having uh, pre-finished, uh, so pre-based, uh, uh, base coated panels, and uh, we are doing the finishing of this machine. The line is uh, equipped with a brushing machine, any panel that is being in a factory gets a little bit of dust that we have to remove. Here we have got a, a double brushing machine, the top and bottom, to have a perfectly clean and also air um, nozzles that are, you know, creating me a movement of dust coming out of the panel with the brushes and the air being collected by the dust collector. This is the uh, easy, as you can see, different from the other machine that I was showing you, has got a CFP belt, always with dry filters. We can also uh, equip this machine with uh, uh, water filtration. So the difference is that uh, the machine efficiency is always uh, guaranteed, but you have to be, as an operator, very careful on controlling the level of uh, your filters. If they start getting uh, uh, full of dust, 
uh, they will not anymore have that power of attracting all the particles that are going out of my belt. So we can start having particles flying around the area, starting to stick on part of the machine where we don't want them to fall because then when the paint dries, a little bit of the vibration they fall down and they can contaminate my pieces. So I don't want to get that one done. But again, the efficiency, the, the, how the machine works. As you can see, again, double the arm machine. You can even equip this machine up to six guns for every uh, arm in order to have, even here, a quick color change. So I can have a, a system that automatically flashes me the gun and I start with another color. So again, it's machine suitable for those uh, medium uh, fairly big businesses that have in any case need to have flexibility of production. And the fact of uh, spraying requires to have the uh, paint that is uh, diluted either with water or with solvent because otherwise I'm not able to, uh, to create my, my cloud when I'm spraying it but then that solvent or that water needs to be uh, evaporated from my part because otherwise uh, it's going to create me defects on my finishing. So what are we doing? We have to flash it off. Flash it off through the area, which is this one over here, it's called the PF. It's an area where we are uh, injecting hot air around 35, 40 degrees, which are, uh, sorry, 25 degrees, which are uh, evaporating the solvent or the water from my part and starting to have the first, uh, uh, let's say, uh, no, here we're talking in this particular line we have UV products, so the final curing will be done by the UV light. Here is just a matter on the, on the PF of evaporation of, uh, of water or solvent based on what type of technology of paint. This is a uh, multi level. Uh, uh, flash off area, so we got six trays. You can see them from here. We're working with the logic of uh, a people logic, first in, first out. So uh, we we are working with uh, uh, batches that are being introduced, uh, loads that are being introduced onto the trays, as long as the tray length can allow to have pieces in, and then uh, the tray moves up and the other one gets, uh, gets built, so everything like this, and then automatically we'll uh, evacuate uh, the parts after it's been inside for the amount of minutes required for the flash off. Again, it's a matter then of... Is the UV curing in here? No, the UV curing is outside. So here is only flash off. Evaporation of the solvent and the energy. UV curing is here, so coming out, I'm able to uh, have my part completely, completely cured. Now, don't look at these little spots over here because we're working in not, not a perfectly clean environment and we cannot control the dust in an exhibition like this. Normally, when we have in these machines in a uh, in normal working environment, we are pressurizing the, the machine, the PF, and also the, the oven, so that by pressurizing it, we avoid having dust coming in. And so we have perfect, uh, perfect uh, parts on it. Um, of course, uh, as you know, the display technology allows me to do flat panels, but as well as uh, raised panels like this. This is a kind of uh, typical uh, uh, solid timber uh, door, kitchen door that you can find in a, in a, in a normal North American uh, kitchen. So something that uh, is quite uh, common to see. As I was telling you, the machine is equipped with uh, the color change, so eventually if the customer wants to do uh, stain, dry the stain, and then uh, uh, final uh, top coating uh, is, is achievable to be done, and uh, the operator doesn't have to get crazy by you know, cleaning the circuits, uh, pumps, and so forth. It's all done automatically by, by the machine. Different reservoirs that are uh, tapped into automatically? Sorry? Different reservoirs that are tapped into automatically, basically? Yeah, yeah, we got a control panel that is giving us the possibility to change it. Of course, there is a little bit of uh, lacquer that you're wasting, which is the one that yeah. goes from the... Uh, where I've got the recirculation of the, of the circuits to the guns, uh, but really a minimal amount that I'm wasting, and uh, that, that is it. I'll take you to the... Before I go to the digital printing, I want to take you to the other machine because it's kind of a, in the process, it's before the digital yeah, printing, so you better the, understand the, 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 the print or whatever they call it. Yeah. Yeah. 
this is a premiere for uh, United States. We have uh, brought to United States uh, the uh, our fusion and inert solution, which is a very innovative technology that we have been already promoting in Europe for uh, the last two years. And uh, finally, let's say we are starting to, uh, to, to to push on the promotion of this technology in North America. What this technology is, is a um, variation of the normal uh, cycles of producing uh, or preparing a panel uh, for either a, uh, is a normal uh, roller coating uh, cycle. So, starting from uh, Starting from a uh, chipboard uh, panel, we are um, applying the uh, Henkel technology, which is a UV uh, hot melt, which is applied on top of the melon to create uh, adhesion, to create, uh, to give more uh, technical strength uh, to the entire coating that then I'm going to build on top of my panel. This uh, allows us to avoid uh, to send the melamine prior to applying uh, the hot coat as instead would have to happen if I've got a normal or a standard primer. Because if I apply a standard primer on top of a uh, untreated melamine, it, it is difficult that it will grab upon the melamine. Because the melamine has got its, its uh, simple uh, resins on it. Uh, it's going to be difficult to have a perfect adhesion. So, if I'm going in the traditional way, I have to I have to send first the melamine, then I start applying primer, base coat, sand, top coat. Here we are applying the techno melt by Henkel. I am uh, on wet on wet. I then apply my base coat. So I'm not curing it. I'm not gelling it. I just uh, leave it uh, on a normal. Uh, Wet is a, uh, for a glue is not a, uh, that significant, but it, again, we, the technique is a wet on wet application. I apply my base coat and I can apply on one shot 60, 70, 80 grams, even 100 and 110 grams. If I'm on the traditional way, applying roller by roller, I'm not able to apply so much grams because then my surface is going to be a disaster. And so what I have to do, I have to send most of it to create a smooth surface. So the traditional way to build up a high gloss panel would be to have a primer or adhesion promoter and then base coat number one, gel, base coat number two, gel, base coat number three, intermediate sanding, then I go to top coat. Or I can have base coat, gel, base coat, Sand and then a third round of base coating. Sand again, top coat if I really want top quality of the coat. So here we have shortened up the cycle dramatically, and the reason why because we have got the inert that, as I will show you now, is actually smoothening me my big amount of uh, grams that I have applied on my panel. How? Thanks to a silicone belt. As you can see, so I am applying a very high quantity of material on the uh, roller coating machine. And uh, thanks to this belt, uh, it's perfectly smoothly made a surface, creating a base coat surface that is very beautiful. So when after this I'm curing the surface, uh, I don't need to sand it heavily like I'm always doing what I have to do on a normal cycle. So most of the application that I have applied on my substrate remains on my substrate. And the second beauty of this application here, of this uh, uh, innovation that we have done, uh, is that, uh, as you can see, the belt uh, is half uh, smooth and half engraved. With the engraved belt, uh, I can do this. So I can create a pattern which is 
like an embossed uh, panel and uh, the combination of the embossed panel and then now digital printing gives me a natural effect that really is, 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 uh, is very difficult to judge if it's a real veneer or if it's, uh, it's fake. So just to show you the part. We're having an effect like this one, which you can see by touch, is an effect that... Uh, it looks like a solid wood panel. It looks like, yeah, because then the solid wood panel, you need to protect it, so you need to put at least a top coat, a clear top coat, which gives a little bit of that plastic uh, uh, touch. So this one, a normal eye, a non-expert eye, I would judge, uh, I would be very difficult to say it's not linear. This is a normal uh, chipper panel, which we have created, uh, our cycle and uh, we also we also got a, a, uh, a cycle which is, uh, is is a very is the top of our uh, let's say application because it really gives a very a very very uh, real effect to the